Today, in the midst of a computer revolution, most high school students still hand write and rewrite their various assignments. Some use typewriters. Even so, most will not rewrite projects after the first revision. Writing in this way has become for students a product, not a process. A cumbersome, time-consuming product for most. Well, a new approach to writing is changing all this. At Central Howard High School, it's called the Writing Center. We're using a pull-down menu in which we choose from uh, the various things that this machine can do under file. So we're going to start this one. All right, and, uh, let's go back. Yeah. Equipped with computers and word processing software, the Writing Center is one very useful way computers can support and supplement student learning. A technology-based writing center gives an excitement to the writing process unlike anything students or teachers have ever experienced. The use of word processing software makes the computer an instructional tool that serves the curriculum directly. The hook for students is the fun involved in manipulating text and creating a final draft that looks just right. And because editing text via the computer is so easy, student writing becomes what it should be. A thoughtful process, not a burdensome product. The Writing Center, developed at Central Howard High School in Akron, Ohio, is something new. And it takes an enthusiastic, supportive building administration to make such a project happen. Sarah Stanley is principal of Central Howard High School. I think we need to make it possible for, for our teachers to be in the lab. The important aspect of this is personal and individualized instruction. Unless we're willing to do that, young people are not going to get the, uh, the opportunity to develop to the fullest extent. The other part of it was, uh, or is, I think, to provide training for the youngsters. In this building, we have approximately 1,200 kids. Uh, we had to make it possible for each of those 1,200 youngsters to be trained to use the microprocessor. Uh, in order to do that, it meant rescheduling, it meant uh, a lot of cooperation among staff and certainly among the administrative staff in order to facilitate that, uh, that uh, whole process. I think it's also important to be sure that we're supportive of teachers. We had a large number of teachers at the outset who said, in no way am I going to get involved with that. Uh, my personal bias is not toward high technology, but when we saw and when they saw youngsters responding in such a positive manner, it became very easy to be personally supportive of what was going on because we could very quickly see that it was in the best interest of kids. Well, can you still just use the best yeah, just, as, just, as you become used to this, this will be much quicker for you. Though. Educator Doug Lauer oversees training for both teachers and students on the new computer systems in the Writing Center. We had an interesting task of training the entire student population at Central Howard, which is approximately 1,200 students in the shortest time possible. That uh, necessitated a, a training schedule that was uh, natural for them and still gave them enough content so they could come back in on their own and work. The training schedule was divided by English class. Uh, a typical English class was split in half. The first half of the class came in Monday, Tuesday. The second half of the class, Thursday, Friday. We had approximately 55 sections of English, and that, by and large, was accomplished in six weeks. The Friday of every week was reserved for those kids that had already received their training. They then could come in and practice or even begin their own projects. The training itself was very structured out of necessity. The first day we, we gave them an introduction to the electronic desktop, which is the way in which the Macintosh operates. They also, on the first day, had an opportunity to do a simple document and save that document so they could come back the next day and, and do a bit of editing with it. The second day concentrated on editing techniques, formatting both uh, text and paragraphs, of course, saving again, and they learned a bit about how to print that final document. The session finished with a, uh, a reasonably detailed explanation of how students could receive help, both on disk from the uh, word processing program and from uh, the manual which they, they took with them. The manual that was written 
allowed for the student to come back in on their own time and repeat their training session following step-by-step -step instructions. So they really did not need that uh, human intervention if they came back and chose to repeat their training session. The receptiveness of the students was uh, really phenomenal. The, the thing that really made this possible was the ease of use of the Macintosh. Um, the, the graphic interface allowed for uh, a very short training period. This could not have been accomplished, in my opinion, in two days had the Mac not been as friendly as it was. The, probably the, the overriding atmosphere uh, for students when they first saw the manner in which the Macintosh uh, operated is we really actually had students uh, giggle with excitement or glee when they, when they saw the, the Mac go through its paces. And that, that really summarizes the training that each student at Central Howard went through. You know what that little watch means? That, that means the way it means it's means got to wait for the computer to, right. to do what it has to do. The computer is just a tool. Teachers make the critical difference by helping students to use these new computer tools. A vital part of the Writing Center model is the staffing plan. Most periods in the school day, an English teacher and a teaching aide with a background in writing are present to support students as they work in the center. As an ESL teacher, I really didn't uh, get myself involved in the writing center in the beginning because I felt that my students wouldn't be able to achieve what was being asked there in following directions or being able to manipulate even the machines. Um, however, uh, Mr. Lauer encouraged us to go in and just see what happened and the students succeeded very well with the machines, with the computers. And um, then I decided that I would try the writing process, the total writing process with them. This is the more advanced students. Some of these students have been in the country approximately four years. And during that time, uh, they have come and they have spoken no English whatsoever. As a result of using the Writing Center, I have letters that I can show you, personal letters that they have written. There are perfect examples of the writing of a, of a personal letter. Three paragraph letters with salutations, with, with uh, closings. The punctuation is correct, the sentence structure is correct, and the reason I think that this is true is that because in the classroom we are working with print material. And then I ask them to take that print and to transform it into cursive. And then we talk about the cursive. And in the, com in the writing lab, they're print on print. And I think for some reason, it's a breakdown of a step and a uh, process in there that, that changed. Uh, maybe it cut down the time of having to to translate that all through their mind through in using the language and it's been a super experience i'm going to work now with my intermediate class will be the next one that i take in because of this success we have seen since september since i've been here an increase in the number of students who are coming on their own not being teacher pushed uh, coming in here last month we had in 15 days we had 1005 students in here working so yes, uh, the teachers are using it more, bringing their um, classes, their entire classes down here for a project, for a writing project of some kind. Uh, as a matter of fact, the next week I am booked solid. I think I have two periods that study hall can come in to use it. All the rest are teacher reserved for sure that you have that screen right in front of you and so many times the students for one thing a lot of them can't even read their own handwriting and so now the computer with that screen in front of them they can see right away the mistakes that they're making for instance they can see that this sentence is running on or this sentence is cut off and so many times when they're writing on the paper they don't catch that you know we have to, we have to stand over there and say I see this mistake on your paper but on the, on the screen if they look at it long enough they will catch it they'll, they'll be able to see it so that, that gives them a graphic picture of what they're writing. It's almost like making a picture in front of them of what's going on in their mind. Teacher observation suggests there is improved student performance thanks to the Writing Center, but a more quantitative evaluation plan is in progress.
So we teachers at Central Howard decided to have all of our students in the building um, complete a short writing assignment as a pretest of writing. The focus or the criteria for the, the writing assignment were based on focus, organization, details, and mechanics. After the students wrote, all the English teachers um, evaluated the papers through holistic grading. Uh, there was a number system established of one through five, with high, five being the highest grade, and uh, two teachers graded the same paper. The combined score of those two grades then determined whether or not the student would, would enter or would be part of an intervention program. If the score was four or lower, they were immediately put into intervention, would be put into intervention, and the intervention would begin second semester. This intervention would be more in-class writing and more exposure to the writing center. In, in May, we hope to test our students again by having another writing assignment, and we hope at that time to see a difference in their writing. Probably the best part of this evaluation is the mere fact that it exists. Far too often in education, wonderful programs are begun, and maybe through observation, there is, it, it is decided that it's a successful program, uh, and yet there's no real evaluation of that program. We're hoping that this writing assignment will be a good assessment of the success of our writing center. Get, you can get a bold type if you want. Just go in the character and go down the bold. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the writing center is, of course, for students, and they seem to appreciate its importance and they like it. Well, it makes writing your term papers or lab reports or whatever easier because you don't have to worry about mistakes or corrections because you can do it on the computer before you print it out and turn it in. Well, I think that computers are the future, so I'm, while I'm sitting here writing out and everything, I, I'm learning how to use the computer. And every day I, I seem to learn something new, maybe if it's from a, a student, another student like Terry or Mr. Lai. To me, I use the writing lab as a tool. Um, I enhance my writing, my pre-writing steps, my whole writing process. Uh, I use it to, it's better than paper. You can transpose sentences, words, transpose whole paragraphs right in front of your eyes without erasing. You're like, just like I said before, paper is boring. It's like, paper is bare. So like, I like using like, um, like a TV screen so I can see it better instead of like on paper and just all wrinkled up and sort of like that. I get better grades if I use the writing lab rather than write out my written work. A center where students go to get help, revise projects, and share ideas. That's the writing center at Central Howard High School. Students are practicing and mastering the process of pre-writing, writing, and rewriting in an environment that promotes the process. Word is spreading fast. Thanks to the Writing Center, writing is fun.